Okay, hello everybody, it's uh, Jeffrey Dick RuneScape Bar of RuneScape Bar Productions. Uh, today we're going to be reacting to He Was Attacked in the Cursed Woods of Kingston as seen on Travel Channel. Uh, thank you again, Exploration Unknown, for uh, giving me permission. I did email him. I do get a contact of people I do reaction videos on their videos. So thank you for giving me permission to do this video. He actually suggested this video that I do a reaction video on this, so... Uh, Again, thank you for the suggestion. So without further ado, let's react. And there's something on my eyes. Wear glasses. Okay, first off, I love your new intro to your videos. That was the first thing that caught my eye with your newer videos, and I I just actually go back and just keep on watching the intro because your intro is so good. Definitely awesome. All right, guys, we are back. Finally back at the Witch's Circle, and I got Tim Hell yeah, guys. from Breaking the Shell. Now, guys, if you've seen this on the Travel Channel, we have returned to do a final installment of sorts. Um, you've seen the previous videos. You know what's happened here. I don't know what to expect tonight, but uh, I'm already hearing some noises, and I'm excited, guys, so follow us. This will be interesting. Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, there's always burnt offerings in the middle. Wow. You could come down Maybe here and there'd be candles more. everywhere. And... Do they do it anymore? No. So they've kind of stopped? Yeah. Strange things still go on here. Oh, yeah, dude. I can feel like a, a dark feeling out here for sure. Is there mm -hmm. something on my back? Freaking like burning. Dude! Oh my god, dude. Oh my. What? Dude. Sometimes okay, not yeah. happy with yeah. you I mean. being there. Oh my god. Guys, look at his back. Well, let's take you a look at that. So we got starting from here. One, two, three, four. So yeah, that big system of somebody. Bright red scratch marks Doing on that. that. Really? Oh yeah. Oh my god. It was burning. It was, I walked mm. up there. When I was coming back, it was burning. Oh my god, dude. That is... I mean, it Dude, show me that right again, now. man. Pull it up. I mean, that's burning right now. It feels like Look it's at on that. fire. It's all the way up. It goes back. all the way up his back. Dude. That's legit like wow. wax, man. Something oh, has yeah. scratched the hell out of you. Something definitely. Hold. That's finger. Did. That's fingernail marks, man. Yeah. I mean, how would you like say fingernail fire marks? Right now. Oh, my God. I mean, that hurts when my shirt touches it. That's what, what have I'm you saying. got us into, man? I, I just saw a lot. I just saw a lot out there. Did you hear that? Yeah. I would like to say I would love to actually go on an urban exploration with you to a haunted forest or something like that. It would be awesome. So if you're ever in Missouri, hit me up. And I know a lot of cool abandoned places around Missouri, from Dixon to Cape to Arnold. Um, I think there's a couple in Hillsborough, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, there's definitely a lot more in Dexter, Missouri, and Cape Girardeau, Missouri, than up here in Arnold. We tend to condemn the houses, sadly. What was that? What the shell was that? Alright, this is a tree I'm never coming back to. Our second visit. Oh, I, I, I gotta say, after after that happened, you got some balls, man, to go back for a second visit, and now even a third visit. You're crazy, man. But I love your videos, and I thrive off of your craziness. You're awesome. Keep me entertained, please. <laughs> Keep America entertained. Here you go. We're in things. We're just trying to walk in here. Hmm. 
Hello. It's interesting how certain sounds can be heard by the human ears, but not cameras. I've always found that interesting. Like if it's low pitched enough, a camera will not Still pick it up. Because cameras, uh, microphones on cameras aren't the best quality. This thing can pick up on a lot of small, minor sounds. So maybe get like something like this attached to your um, camera, maybe. Like an external mic that you can attach to it that can pick up better audio sounds than the default camera mic. That's just something I've learned. Like there are just some videos I've done in the past where you could barely hear me through my older mics. This mic's better. But when I even did my camera, camera, you know, before I got the recording software, the dark ages of RuneScape Bar Productions, um, the camera mic could barely it, pick man. up anything. So maybe get a this separate mic to hook up. Some do right? have a spot for separate mics to hook up. I know my mother's camera does. You can hook up microphones to it. What the fuck is that? Look. Where? Jesus, now was that you breathing or was that something else breathing? Because I heard like a, I heard like a kind of a light but heavy breathing. Don't know really how to describe it that much, except for it's like a kind of a kind of a sound of breathing. I don't know if that's what you heard or where you're from. Hmm. Now for the conclusion. Right, guys, we're just here at the entrance, heading in. First thing I want to do, last time we passed up the tree and then heard the, the creature. Yes. This time I want to find the tree in that spot. We was here a few days ago and there was people in here and it was raining. We don't know what they were doing. A lot of trees have fallen in the storm we just had yesterday. We always seem to come here when it's cold. Yeah, I know. Seems like there's a lot more tires huh. scattered around here. You have found the hidden tire graveyard. Yeah, there was some over here. Wow, that 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 is a lot of tires. Washed up what is the significance of the tires? Oh, that right. Is it a, a tire, tire Even graveyard? It's cold. They or are they using them for something? Any wildlife. Too much. At least of the snake variety. Mm. Yes, we've had a lot of flooding and rain here. Oh. Yep, yeah, muddy spot. Big muddy spot. Last time we were here, I almost lost a shoe in the mud trying to run. You can tell a lot of people's been in here. Look how worn this path is. Oh, man. There's something here that I noticed in a lot of these urban exploration videos, viewers included. You come across a lot of animals and insects. You really don't know what they are. There is an app called iNaturalist. I'm not sponsoring them, but... uh. Basically, you can take a picture of any plant or animal, and it will identify it for you with very good accuracy. I was able to identify a moth picture that I took that was somewhat fuzzy, but sure enough, the picture that came up, and it will let you compare what they believe it is to what you think it is before you can confirm it for the observations. Uh, and it will tell you exactly if it's even common in your area or not. It's a pretty interesting app. It's called iNaturalist. I will put a link for that in the description below, so if you're out here doing your videos, I know you, Mo Sarji, and Omar Gosh, you come across a lot of insects and animals. So I think this app would be beneficial for you guys to use when you're out there in the field doing your awesome videos. Looks like it's become a lot of people's dumping grounds too, unfortunately. This 
This has got to be close to the spot, yeah. Did it really? Hmm. And it just started back up. Wow, that's nuts. Interesting. Oh no. Ooh. Memory card's full? No. You just had a malfunction, didn't you? See, when it comes to something like that, I am skeptical of because technology is never perfect. But, uh, definitely SD cards, if you have problems with SD cards and cameras. There's a very good chance SD cards just corrupt or went bad. I go, I went through so many of them because the data on them would just get corrupted so fast. So I always make sure to take all my content, put it on a computer or a thumb drive immediately. So that way I know that it's not corrupt, it didn't go bad. But uh, definitely a nice camera you have there. Uh, I don't know who that is, but uh, very nice camera. I definitely like it. He's working it's unable ass. to read the memory card now. That is weird. It's the same one I always use. Hmm. As it is in the 30s. And I like to wear this. New merch though. Check it out. Yeah, Love the cold. shirt. Tim's going to... Are you going to have to go to your phone? Yeah. Hmm. Alrighty guys having some technical difficulties. <laughs> I... If I had an SD card, I would show you, but usually most SD cards have a little white thing or a blue thing sometimes on a slide that locks it, preventing it from being used. But since he was already filming uh, with the SD card and now it just stopped, I, that kind of rules that out. But like I said, again, technology is always defaulting. So it may be paranormal, it may not be, but we can never truly know because technology is only as perfect as the person who makes it. Since nobody's perfect, no technology will ever be perfect. Gotta try to find this tree. I just saw a lot. Something flashed back there. I don't know if it was. Oh, there it went again. That's a. Uh, flash back there. I don't know if it was. Oh, there it went again. Uh, kind of hard to see. I'm streaming in a view this in a HD quality. a couple flashes of light back at, well, I don't know if I picked it up on camera or not. No, you didn't. Sorry. I could not see it. Seems like we're close to that spot where the tree was, or is. I'm not seeing that weird knot, though. Oh, dude, there's a huge mud puddle right in front of you. Oh wow. Looks like we might be able to get around it. But is that the tree? That's what I'm saying. I think it's that is a very interesting looking tree. It kind of looks like it. Can't see. No, I don't think that's the tree. I think it's just up. This might have been the is that a mud puddle there, or is that just the ground? Oh yeah, so. where I about lost my shoe. Yeah. Why's a beer can? Can't have an urban exploration video without some type of beer can somewhere. Somebody's been shooting back here. Mm. You okay? Yeah, it's just pausing. Like my beer head. I thought I saw lots up there. Hmm. That's not the tree. Is 
think it might be across the lake though. More, more Is this tires. where we were when we heard the noise? Hmm. I said, I wonder if this is a tire graveyard. There's so many tires just thrown around here. Guys, we've made it. This is the first video. This is the tree here. You know that, John? Yeah, you're standing in the spot, ain't you? The exact spot. Wow. Let me try to get up here closer to this. Yeah, it's got that weird knot on it. You can see that someone has put a post-it sign on this tree to try to keep people away from it. Huh. That's why I'm not going to go any further. But you can see the weird formations on it. It's kind of odd. And this mostly appears where... Oh, it's a gruesome story, but they took a woman's unborn child and sacrificed it onto this tree. Perhaps. Something sticking out there. I think it's a piece of wood, but I could have been where they had warming. nailed it on, maybe. Yeah, it's so awful to think of. And then, you know, of course, they. This is private property. And they will prosecute people, I guess, maybe from going on. I don't know, but it's weird that it's on this tree. I want to get away from it. I got an eerie feeling over here. Very. We're at. Facing this way. Hmm. It looked like there was somebody there. Is anyone here with us? Are you the one that scratched me? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. You should try to get one of those. Um, I'm pretty sure they have cheap ones. Uh, EMP or EVPs, uh, electronic voice phenomena devices. That would actually be pretty interesting to see. Maybe get like a, uh, well, they're not really cheap, these, but like a thermal camera. Cause you can see some pretty wicked cool things with thermal camera that the naked eye cannot see. Now if we keep going, that's where we heard that scream. It was right up here, man. Cause this is, we didn't realize the tree was right there. Michael kept thinking it was These further. The plants here look really weird and like really mm. There's a trail going up that way. Something's been using it out for animals. Yeah, I see some lights right there. It was right in here. We stopped right here and it was just up ahead. Yep, Michael was right in front of me and that's when he saw something. speakers down here so if I'm doing this I'm trying to listen better to my speakers that was big yeah it was let's start slowly making our way out of here let's just go this way there's something here man
How are frogs able to do that right now? Frogs always going off at the wrong time of the day. Hearing a frog. Yep. It's the truth. That came from right there. Are you trying to get our attention? Oh, the animal noise has just stopped. Hear that? Now that is creepy as hell. This is not a place I want to stick around and find out. Oh, your camera's going kind of blurry there. I don't know if that's maybe the feedback going to a lower okay. quality or Wi Fi's horrible. But, uh, it's going very blurry there. through the trees. I don't know if I'm yeah. picking up on camera. No, it's too blurry. Yes. Whoa, what's going on there? It looks like a uh, screen's blurring up enough to look like something. Pick it up the line off and on. There it went. I don't know what that is, man. That is very interesting. There it is, it reflecting off my lights. Is that? There you go. Watch huh. out for the muddy spot. This is it for me, bro. I don't know if that's just feedback on my end, the reason why it's doing that. That is very interesting. There's that light's getting closer. I don't know what it is, but it don't look normal. There's no traction to run if we have to. What the hell was that? It was like a loud moan. But it came from that way. It did. Sounds like it's getting closer. Got all them tires. You dropped your phone? Yeah, no, I caught it. Oh. Hmm. That does look interesting place to go visit. Alright, we're almost there. There you have it guys, Witch's Circle. We're back at the car. Big shout out to Tim for coming oh, with me. Yeah. I would never come here by myself, that's for sure. <laughs> There's something weird here, man. I can't believe that knocking. 
I'm hearing noises still coming from behind me. That's the witch's circle, so. But every animal got quiet. Every animal just got dead silent. That was very that noise, creepy that, that, was that happened. Then you start hearing something walking. Yeah. That's why I know it's time to really get out. But guys, outside of that, thanks for watching. If you want to help support the channel, I sell t-shirts like this. And he sells t-shirts too. Oh yeah. Go bundle them together, guys. Get one shipping. I'm gonna give my next paycheck. I definitely will buy some of your merchandise because you got it. You're awesome. And again, my favorite urban exploration or uh, urbex people are Exploration Unknown, Mo Sarji, and Omar Gosh TV. They are awesome YouTubers and they're awesome at urban exploration. And the reason why I respect you guys so much is you guys don't steal, you don't loot, you don't vandalize. You go in, you document, and then you leave. And I have a very great amount of respect for people like you who do that. So again, Urban X or Expression Unknown, please go subscribe to him. He is an awesome YouTuber. And as always, have a nice day. Live, love, game on. Thank you again, Urban Expression, for recommending this video to me. And uh, peace.